And welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to connect your AS400 system into ArcMap. So the first thing you'll want to do is you'll need to know the IP address, the username, and the password of your AS400 system. You can get these by clicking on the Start menu and typing in ODBC and just clicking on ODBC Administration here. So the one that you'll be concerned about is your System DNS tab. You might get that if you're not logged in as a system administrator. So you'll, um, if you have the AS400 system set up on your computer, you'll want to just um, remember the name here of the driver, and then you'll just want to remember the, uh, the IP address, um, which is located right here, of your AS400 system. The next thing you'll want to do is once you know that information, you'll want to click on the um, blank area inside of Arc Catalog, go down to Customize, go to the Commands tab, and type in OLE. And you should see an OLE DB connection. Just drag and drop that up here. Since I've already done it, I'm not going to worry about it there. Just hit Close here. And then once you have that dragged and dropped, just click on this up here and you should get a data link properties dialog box that pops up like this. Next thing you'll want to do is select the OLE DB provider for ODBC drivers. Hit your next. Right here under your drop down you should find that AS400 that we just saw. You'll want to enter your username and password which you can get from anybody that works on the AS400 um, and the tax commission just ask for the iSeries access password and they should know what that is. Um, and you'll want to check allow saving for password. I'm going to pause this tutorial while I enter that information then I'll resume. So I clicked the um, test connection succeeded and you should see a dialog box that's like this after you enter your password and username and I just checked down here allow saving and password. So then what you'll want to do after it succeeds, just um, go down here and look for the catalog. Um, and it should be, there should only be one in the drop down. In this case, it's SO614OD5. And then if it's in there, if there's anything in there, just select that. Just hit OK. And you should see an OLEDB connection.odc. So you're going to notice in here um, that there's a bunch of tables. So the one that you're going to be concerned about for your linkage system is the UA part table. So PAR00. Um, zero, zero. So this table here, it won't say of course lim high after it. So then what you can do here is you can actually go into your art catalog, which I've already got up here. And I'm just going to close out of that and you can drag and drop so that's usually what I tend to do a lot of so if you just kind of get pain by pain here just go like this and drag and drop your OLE DB connection oops um, what I would suggest doing is taking if that one doesn't work taking the UA park that we just found on this side UA park 00 and dragging and drop it should allow for that one uh, we might have to add it to this side under the catalog. Yep. So if you just drag it, OLEDB connection, over to your database connections on this side. It, it'll say that because I've already got it in there. Um, if it's this connection um, to the password is not correct, you can go in and enter it by right-clicking on it and going to Connection Properties. I was entering the wrong username and password. That's why I wasn't um, connecting. But just once you, all you need to do essentially is just take it out of here and drag it into... Um, your database connections in ArcMap, and then you should have this OLEDB connection link, and you should have all of the tables that are in here. And if you find the UA Park 00, which is essentially like your parcel master, just drag it up here and open it up. And this should be your tabular data right out of your AS400 system. So what you'd want to do in this case, you'll notice the columns are different. Um, they are the same thing. So you want to essentially use your PM key here and um, 
your PM key here would be like your your um, relational column. Bring your parcels in there and just relate to that. And then you have your linkage directly into your AS400 system. So this concludes the tutorial on how to connect your AS400 system into your ArcMap using OLEDB connections.